Hi there, my name is Michelle. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm starting to make videos because I am tracking my journey as um, a current survivor of gray zone lymphoma. Um, so I want to make videos to pretty much inform people because it is such a rare uh, disease or cancer um, that I wanted to kind of get FaceTime to people um, so they can see live what actually um, it is that I've been going through day to day. Um, I'm kind of late on the game making the videos. I've already completed my first round of chemo, um, but I'll talk about that in a separate video. But this video is, um, the purpose is to kind of get my story out there, how I became um, to know that I have cancer. I'm part of a Facebook group um, called Gray Zone Lymphoma Survivors, and I've been reading a lot of different stories of how people found out they, um, or how their diagnosis came about. Um, so I wanted to put it out there, uh, why I should have gone to the doctor sooner. Um, and my story is pretty simple, um, so I guess I just might as well start telling the story. So back in 2013, um, I was diagnosed with severe depression and anxiety. Um, so the major part with that is being on medication and something that keeps you just feeling down all the time, just to give a, I guess a little bit of a tone of how I felt. I worked all the time. I loved my job. Um, very crazy. If you work in retail, you know how crazy it gets. So, um, I ended up getting uh, medicine to control my anxiety. So that was in 2013, like I said. Um, it wasn't until about, I want to say the end of 2015, that I started not feeling well, just really exhausted. Uh, I guess what normal retail people think that they feel every day. Um, it was a little bit more alarming, I guess, at the end of 2015, just because I would sleep all the time. Um, just sleep, eat, go to work, sleep, eat, go to work. That's all I did. And um, it wasn't until I think it was May of 2016 is when I finally um, went to my psychiatrist thinking that all this medicine I'm trying to figure out um, why it's not working, why it's just keeping me so bogged down. Um, I was actually interested in weaning off the medication because I was so tired, but um, I spoke to him and I asked him um, if I could take a leave of absence because I was that mentally and physically exhausted. And luckily he granted that for me. I was able to sleep and get some rest. But the problem was I still had other symptoms. Um, when I said I wasn't feeling well in uh, the end of 2015, it was, like I said, exhausted and ex little tongue slip. Um, it was exhaustion. Um, I had just what I would call a smoker's cough. I smoked for 15 years. Um, sorry, mom. Uh, so I smoked for 15 years. So I thought I had like a smoker's cough where it's just a consistent, um, bothering cough. I would cough things up. Um, so again, fast forward to June, uh, 2016, I went and I saw a pulmonologist because I could not kick this cough. So he ran, uh, you know, chest x-rays and all that kind of stuff and saw that like my lung was retaining fluid and that some of my lymph nodes were changing in size. Um, some would get big, some would get small. And that was not when I was on antibiotics. Um, he finally prescribed me 10 days of antibiotics, still didn't kick the cough, um, my lymph nodes again were changing. They just kind of looked weird and he kept note of that. Um, so then he decided that we were going to do four weeks of antibiotics and I still couldn't kick this cough. I still was sick. Um, I, I ended up taking another leave of absence because it was that terrible. Um, so I want to say that was in August is, uh, when I took that leave of absence cause I just couldn't kick this cough. So finally, September, we ended up doing another CAT scan. Again, the lymph nodes are just looking funky. I can't kick this cough. Um, so my doctor suggested that, um, we wait 
take some time, see what my lymph nodes are going to do. Um, and he put me on some other medication to see if I could kick the cough. And um, I was supposed to reschedule my CAT scan six weeks later, and I never did. Um, working retail, and that's all that your mind's on, especially during the Christmas season. Um, and then, you know, Christmas is coming up. You have to go Christmas shopping. Just crazy. Um, I didn't end up rescheduling this appointment until February of this year, of 2017. So I was bogged down for months again, uh, just not eating well, still smoking, just kind of carrying on life as if I didn't hear anything that my lung doctor said. Um, so finally, February, I went and did my CAT scan. I got results the next day, and he, he's just alarmed because he sees my lymph nodes are actually growing. Some of the same um, ones that he noticed had been shrinking actually started growing and growing. Um and not getting any better. So he suggested that I go get a biopsy done on my lymph nodes. So this is March now of 2017. As you can see, I have these scars right here. So this was my first biopsy that was done in March. Um, they took the biopsy. We find out, we found out 17 days later that um, I was diagnosed with gray zone lymphoma, which is um, a type of cancer that uh, shares both properties of large cell lymphoma, which is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. So at that time, I was told that it's rare, um, but you need to go see an oncologist. So um, I scheduled right away, of course, uh, being alarmed. I scheduled right away to go see an oncologist, and he suggested, um, due to the size of the biopsy that they were able to obtain, um, they sent it off to four different clinics. They all said it was gray zone lymphoma, but if we wanted to ensure that we were going to treat this correctly um, with chemo, we need to know which uh, lymphoma I favor. Is it non-Hodgkin's or Hodgkin's? And in this case, I favor non-Hodgkin's. Um, so that means that they treat me with a different type of chemo as compared to if it were Hodgkin's. Um, so by that time, it's mid-April, I got my second biopsy done, and uh, the scar's kind of gnarly. It's gross, feeling it. Um, so that's we did a second biopsy, and again, he said that the tissue wasn't saturated enough in lymphoma. So where I stand today is that I do have gray zone lymphoma. Um, from what it sounds like, it's, well, I know that it's stage three, but from what it sounds like, it's not, um, concentrated in my lymph nodes. Um, so I, um, I'm not sure, I guess there's a scale saying how fast the cancer grows. I have to ask my doctor next time I'm in there. Um, so right now I'm, I've completed round one of chemo, um, Working on round two. Today is May 10th, I believe, so I go in six days for round two of my chemotherapy. Um, and I'm excited and scared all at the same time. But anyway, the point of this video was just to give the background of how I found out um, I was sick. Um, don't take your health for granted. Go see your doctor if you feel any of the symptoms that I felt because I know many people push off just, oh, it's a cough. Oh, it's, you know, the flu and I've had it for this long and my immune system isn't great because I don't take care of myself. It's like, well, if you don't take care of yourself, go to the doctor then, like, so you can get it taken care of. Um, well, until next time, I guess. Thanks.